Hey, hello everyone! This is Sven with a very special treat. It's time to feast your eyes on some brand new co-op action, where I play as Kayla to show you the final class in action. The class that you have all been waiting for, the Tectomancer. An advanced heart-hitting tactical specialist, able to spawn a wide range of deadly contraptions. We have a great fire team on the field today, with Lucy taking helm of the Devastator and Robbie is in command of a Pyromancer. So sit back and enjoy a few minutes of intense co-op gameplay. And we talk again in a bit.
And there you have it. The Technomancer has arrived, and the fourth class is finally revealed. For this specific loadout, we showed you three of the Technomancer's powers. A sticky proximity mine slash grenade hybrid, a conjured RPG, and a mighty pain launcher, which fires a widespread rocket barrage that rains death on your enemies. It should already give you a good idea about the versatility of this class, especially in combination with your Devastator, Pyromancer and Trickster co-op partners allowing many new and exciting possibilities when it comes to refining how the many different powers in your fire team complement each other. And speaking about our friend Devastator, Lucy just showed a lot of cool new stuff you can do with this class. And you can dive even more into the nitty gritty details of the Devastator in this month's Spotlight, so be sure to check that out. We hope you enjoyed this exciting look into Outrider's brutal and thrilling co-op possibilities. And I also hope you are all already building out your dream team in your heads. And as always, stay safe out there, people. And I see you in the next Outriders broadcast.
last magazine.
coming. You don't say. Watch out! Take care of it! We have to 
do something about that watcher. Still got it on a big to share more with you today about our upcoming game, The Pathless. The Pathless is an open world, mythic adventure game set in a vast forest. You play as the hunter, who along with your eagle companion, seeks to lift a curse of darkness that plagues the world. The hunter is a master of archery. She can shoot talismans to fill her dash meter, which allows her to bound across the landscape. Fluid, dynamic movement is at the core of the pathless. So the game's unique take on archery is all about timing, not aiming down sights. This design was critical to making it possible to shoot even while moving fast and performing acrobatic maneuvers. You instantly feel as skilled as the hunter herself. from the eagle, you can even fly. The bond between the hunter and the eagle is central in the pathless. You can gain altitude while you glide by flapping. Make sure you pet the eagle to keep it clean and in good flying condition. You'll find secrets all over the island, if you know where to look. Collecting crystals will let you upgrade the eagle's ability to flap. You'll also discover larger puzzles to solve in ancient structures. Pathless is all about finding your own way forward. So unlike most open world games, there's no map. Instead, the hunter can use her mask to peer into the spirit world and discover distant landmarks. It even shows you where you've been. Getting to higher vantage points will let you see further with spirit vision.
giant cursed spirits, the source of the darkness, will pose a constant threat to you on your quest. They will try to separate you from the eagle. Stay still in the light to avoid detection. You won't be able to take on the cursed spirits until you've returned light to the obelisks. Obelisks are restored, the cursed spirits will be vulnerable. Chase them down through the forest to corner them in a dramatic final battle. will have to defeat the cursed spirits to bring light back to the world. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the Pathless. We've only scratched the surface. There's so much more to explore and discover. The Pathless is coming out later this year. Thanks for watching. Could be soaked to the skin in the mall soon I know she got the good